Good evening, I'm Lauren Culber. And I'm Chad Mira. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. And continuing coverage, the opioid crisis funded by the state. Last week, we told you how doctors in Burley County prescribe more opioids for injured workers than any other North Dakota county. These narcotics given to injured workers are funded by the state through the North Dakota Workers' Compensation Program. Tonight, Renee Cooper sat down with a Burlington man who was injured over five years ago as a truck driver loading and hauling up to 550-pound pigs for a local farm. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Tim Greb is 59 years old. This is his life now. If it wasn't for my wife and son, I wouldn't be here today because it's, what do you do? You can't even support yourself. You can't. I can't support my wife and son. This is Tim and his wife Trish. Before he injured his back in December of 2013, trying to get a frozen gate open to unload the pigs. And I was pulling on it, and, and the gate pulls open the whole side. So I didn't have anything like put my feet. So you just pulling on it like this, and, and it hurt my back. He hasn't been able to go back to work since, and the Grebs are living paycheck to paycheck. I should be able to go back to work, which is all I've ever asked in the last five years. But Greb has spinal stenosis and a bulged disc, which keeps him home, luckily with his son Conrad for company. Before the injury, we were pretty active. We did a lot of stuff together with our son. Um, now it's stay at home, stay, you know, because our, you know, if we try to go grocery shopping, it's maybe a 10 minute ordeal and he's hurting. Greb is prescribed a slew of medications, oxycodone, muscle relaxers, antidepressants, six or seven he has to take multiple times a day. He's supposed to take up to three narcotic pain pills a day, but he says he always takes less because he fears addiction. I get up in the morning, that's the first thing some days I go first, which I don't want to be addicted because... As far as I'm concerned, that's the very worst thing. Greb says the medications the doctors are able to give him feel like a temporary solution. He says WSI has failed him and his family up to this point. I don't care for WSI. I think they they look more for saving the buck and putting you on medicine. I mean, if they had to come here even for a day and spend the day with him, they'd see. Trish wants to see more individualized care and attention rather than set in stone guidelines from WSI. Every time I call and talk to his claims representative, she's like, well, it's the OGD guidelines or whatever they call them. I sat down with the WSI director, Brian Klipfell, last week. He says the prescriptive rates of opioids are of high concern to them. They started working on legislation in 2011, and the rate has decreased. Clipfell also noted WSI is not the prescriber, but simply the payer. We've been, we've been working on it. It does concern us. The couple says Tim does participate in physical therapy and is asked about surgical options. Tim says workers' compensation is wary to cover a surgery that may not last. You know, they keep putting us in a vicious circle of redoing things that don't work. Tim hopes one day opioids will no longer be a part of his story. Renee Cooper, KX News. After we left their home, the Grebs were headed out the door to pick up a walker and cane for Tim. Since being out of work, Greb says he's put on close to 120 pounds. He says this is not who he is and hopes future patients will be heard better by our state compensation system. Greb travels to Bismarck to be seen by the right doctors. As we first told you last week, in Burley County, WSI paid for more than $1.5 million worth of painkillers prescribed by health care providers in 2017. That's more than half the total amount WSI spent on all opioid prescriptions in the state. The Workers' Compensation Program spent a little over $223,000 on opioid prescriptions last year in Cass County and close to $230,000 in Grand Forks County. New today, a woman pleads guilty in a prostitution.